All right. This should be just about working right about now. I got to get myself a glass of water and that sort of thing. And I'll be back like in 30 seconds to a minute. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I don't have anything for you in here. You know where the refrigerator is, though. So, I'll be right back. Hold on. Let's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. refresh. Hold on now. See if everything is working here. <laughs> hey, Bill's telling me to play it. Well, by golly, I will. Look, it's probably going to be just me today, which means you make comments, and I will check them out down here because I've got my iPad. Whoops, just a second now. I gotta turn this down. Otherwise, you're gonna hear me hear myself. That's fucking weird. Ooh, I just swore. So, I'm gonna do a bunch of songs. And I'm gonna start out with something. Something that's, uh, oh, I don't know, interesting, I guess? Welcome, welcome to the Bobcat Den. It's a Wednesday. And, uh,. This is usually when I go on at 11 o'clock. Coming to you from Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. I love this town. Well, you know, not all the time, and not all the parts of it, but we go way back. I know the nooks and the crannies, your granddads and grannies. Yeah. This is a song about how you might think you got everything right where it's supposed to be know what to expect, but it ain't gonna work out that way 90% of the time. Well, 
Well, I'm awakening in the morning to a big surprise. And that big old sun is trying to rise. But there's something weird going on around town. Every time it goes up, it just comes back down. So I roll up my sleeves and I jump right in. Dark matter coming on me again. Dark matter. Coming on me again. Well, now let me guess. I can figure it out. You put a ship in the bottom, now you can't get it out. The eye of a needle and a two by four. Seems like nothing really fits together anymore. It's a mess. And I don't know what to do. Dark matter, I'm depending on you. Dark matter, I'm depending on you. Help me out now. Now Paul revered at a midnight ride Meeting Emma Goldman by the riverside Now wouldn't that have been some It was almost a great and glorious day But he couldn't remember what he was supposed to say She could though So he took out his guitar and he started to sing Dark matter getting into everything Dark matter into everything. Well now Stephen Hawking said to Neil deGrasse, this theoretical stuff is a pain in the ass. Says Neil, well what are you trying to say? And Steve says, well I'll get back to you later today. You know it's just but it would make more sense if dark matter would just get off the fence. Dark matter. Yeah, this needs to get off the fence. Let's get it off the fence now. Still hanging on by a thread now. Let's push it all the way up. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. Dark matter ever. Dark matter everywhere. Well, I fell in love with a friend of mine. She was uh, walking on a tightrope line. And I was crawling on my hands and knees. We bumped into each other, said, Excuse me, please. Do I know you? Was this meant to be, or is this just dark matter messing around with me? Dark matter <laughs> messing around with me. So I took a leap and I went so high. I blew a hole right through the sky. And I swam like a fish in ethereal brine. Gotta let the whole damn solar system behind. Yeah, you ask me why I'm leaving. Well, I'll try to make it clear there's just too much dark matter around here. Dark matter. Too much of it around here. Dark matter. Yeah, 
Now get me out of here. Check and see if anyone's telling me it's too loud or like, you know. God, greetings from Belfast. Belfast! Hey, man! Awesome. Cool. Stefan McCullough. Oh boy, I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Stefan. From Belfast. Whoo wee! Hope you can find the time to play Hiroshima Nagasaki Russian Roulette. That sounds like a request if I ever heard one. Um, yeah, I'll get on to that. Hold on, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that right now. I wrote this song in 1974, I think it was. We had a governor here in Washington State named Dixie Lee Ray. She had been chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission under Richard Nixon. <laughs> and as such, she opened up the state for everybody's waste. Send it over here, she said. And people did, too. And it piled up in a place called Hanford out there in eastern Washington. And every once in a while, Greenpeace would go out there and they would monitor, you know, and they'd say, hey, it's leaking. It's leaking radioactive waste into the atmosphere. And that would get attention and they would have to shut it down for a couple of days while they cleaned it up and fixed the leak. And this would piss off Dixie Lee Ray. So one day, one day there was another leak. Dixie came on the TV news and she said, all right, I'm gonna shut down Hanford permanently. Permanently until we can find out what's going on and it doesn't happen anymore. We looked at each other and said, what's going on? Next day, a doctor came on from the cancer hospital with his stethoscope and his white frock. And he says, well, I don't know what we're gonna do now. If we can't dispose of our low-level isotopes, then we can't treat patients anymore. So I guess we're gonna have to start turning people away. Bang, it opened up the next day. They dropped the bomb in 45 to win the world war. No one had ever seen such a terrible sight before And the world watched with eyes wide To see where it would lead as the politics of power Passed around the seed, it was a time to remember That we never can forget to play in Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian roulette They arose like the saviors of our modern human race with radiation halos that hung above their face with the key to the sure cure and treatment of our ills a hot shot of cobalt a pocket full of pills speaking always of the enemy who lurked across the seas all moving in among us like a carrier disease inside the bunkers of the concrete and lead, Einstein's disciples, working steadily ahead and building heavy metal power plants to fire the city lights. And all you hear is the underground humming in the night and the walls of tight security circle all around where they spill out all the poison and they bury it in the ground.
Holed up in the harbors, hidden secretly away, the warheads and the submarines await to make their play, and the military masterminds improve on their designs, while well, the soldiers get all doped up and stumble through the lines and the leaks in the water. And get carried by the tide to call it national security. I call it attempted homicide. Governors and statesmen on congressional pay, quick to please the hand it fees. Careful what they say, they call out experts to assure us and to wave the magic wands. This is the power of the future, they say. And the future marches on and they gather up their favors and political gains while the spills fill the rivers and settle in the plains. I know the minds behind them. They are riddled full of holes. They are not to be trusted. With their hands at the controls, their eyesight is twisted with the glory of their careers. Heaped praise of flattery is music to their ears. And to listen to them talk about how it hasn't happened yet. It's like playing Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian roulette. Those who brought the deaths of millions, for it was their stock in trade, they are afflicted with the fallout that they themselves have made. They have sealed their own inevitable doom, and it will surely come. And not even the moons of Jupiter will be far enough away to run when the world that they've assaulted it begins to turn around and the unavoidable gravity pulls them to the ground. And to listen to them talk about how it hasn't happened yet, it's like playing Hiroshima Nagasaki Russian roulette. Hiroshima Nagasaki Russian roulette. Hiroshima Nagasaki Russian roulette. That's a good way to start off a Wednesday. Do a little tune up here. Oh, I know what I'll do. Yeah, for my friends up there in Belfast, I do this song. Hold on. Hold on now. Where did I put it? See, with this uh, virus thing going around, it's hard to... You know, you're not going out and doing gigs, and so you wind up, I do anyway, I wind up with all these, uh, yeah, there we go, with all these songs that I <laughs> haven't really memorized them all that well, you know? So I got to do it like this. So this is for you guys up there. Because this is where the song started. I was... Uh, I don't know, 20 years ago, maybe. I was up in Dairy Town, uh, doing some gigs, you know, story of my life. And I might have been up on the wall, and I might have been up on a rooftop somewhere, but I was up above, and walking around, and I saw a little street scene down below, this armored personnel carrier thing, which was a police car. <laughs> talking to a lady and they were just having a conversation nothing much was going on but I just I was looking down and my eye got caught by the street sign I'm not making this up I'm not making this up they were standing at the corner of London and artillery and that's the truth 
that's the history of the world. History of the world in a street sign. History of the world. History of the world in a street sign. Walking around every town, up on the top looking down. Street corner sign looking back at me, says London and artillery. And that's the history of the world. History of the world in a street sign. History of the world. Crossing the, crossing the bridge in the Canada land, up on the map like the back of my hand. <laughs> Come on. Don't know your songs. It's a good one, no? Just get into the groove. Bound to improve. Get into the groove. Up on the on the peak. World in a street sign. Following down the path. Crossing the bridge in the Canada land. Following the map like the back of my hand. Queen Elizabeth. To garrison, to colony, dominion, and that's the history of the world. History of the world in a street sign. History of the world. History of the world in a street sign. Now I was raised in the western state, the mission, the golden gate, Sutter's Mill, the mother load, El Camino Real, that's the royal road, and that's the history of the world. History of the world in a street sign. History of the world. And whoever, and whoever said there was nothing in the name was only smelling the roses. You gotta take a walk on the back roads to the land of the bloody noses. The words can knock you down, they can kick you around the block. You gotta watch your language when you talk. Yeah, history. History of the world. Wherever there's an empire state, there's got to be a better way to relate. An MLK, a Rosa Parks, a Friendly Street, a People's Park, a Forward Thinking Boulevard, the Avenue of Playing Cards, a Highway of the Winning Hand, where this land is your land. And that's the history of the world. History of the world in a street line, that'll be the history of the world. History of the world in a street sign, history of the world. That'll be the history of the world in a street sign, yes it will. All right. Okay, what was I going to do here? Yeah, I was going to do it. I, this is uh, from when I used to tour around all the time over there. And uh, I don't know, this is for Fergie and this is for Tony Hollerin and all those people. It's just a song that I wrote a little bit ago. Hold on. Things sound better when they're in tune. See, I didn't drive. I didn't drive for a long time. I didn't drive from probably 1970 till 1980. Oh boy, five something like that. I didn't drive, and I preferred not to drive. But you know, over time, <laughs> you just got too much stuff to carry. So I did all my all my touring around on buses. Trains. And some might say it takes you longer to get there, but it doesn't really. It's just that you got to leave when the train leaves. You don't get to leave when you want to leave. You leave when the train wants to leave. So you're never late. You are always early. You're never on time. You're always early. You can't afford to be late unless something happens like a snowstorm or something.
Standing by the river in the rain I just came in on the Dublin train My collar up, my head is wet I light a soggy cigarette Such memories to dwell upon Have you missed me well since I've been gone My guitar in a shoulder case the music is my saving grace And as long as I'm here I'm home in sweet Athlone Oh, I'm a tradesman of rare design A troubadour who comes on time <laughs> I show up with a bag of songs my pay and move along and sometimes people that I see maybe wish that they could be like me and I wish I could be like them to never have to leave again but as long as I'm here I'm home and sweet at the loan See the seasons come and go The summer green, the winter snow I'd wear my heart upon my sleeve I'd fall in love and never leave Oh, but something in me won't allow And yes, I've come to love it now My obligation's on the land <laughs> And I'm always home wherever I am so as long as I'm here, I'm on in sweet Athlone. Oh, I sing my way around The outback roads, the little towns A stranger's meal, a cup of tea All the world's a neighbor to me And as long as memory remains I'll not forget the Dublin train The river, the songs we knew Mostly out Remember you And as long as I'm here I'm home As long as I'm here I'm home In sweet Athlone Jolly Mariner, man. He used to play in the Jolly Mariner. It was right by the river is how I remember it. But my brain might have been full of, you know, my brain might have been full of, full of stuff. Who knows? All right. I really like these strings, but something about them. They say it's a poor carpenter that blames his tools, but you know, it's a fool that doesn't blame his tools when the tools are at fault. The hammer breaks, you know, it's like, who's fault? But I know I'm blaming my tools. One more, uh, get it right. Here we go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, what you gonna do when the world don't end and you have to go back to work? 
Cause you just apologize to everybody for being such a jerk. Do you disassemble your building blocks? Do you put your guns in store? What you gonna do when the world don't end and you can't freak out anymore? When the second coming still ain't coming and a fiery rain don't fall and the devil himself don't make that dreadful long distance call. When the great reset don't happen just like the great Y2K. Oh, it's gotta be embarrassing, so what do you say? Do you shrug your shoulders and say God changed his mind? Or that you miscalculated and you'll get it right next time? Oh, there's got to be a reason. You don't always have to rhyme. Oh, I knew some people who knew for a fact that they were the chosen few. And there was a great big God out there somewhere, and he knew it too. So they went up on a mountain, and they said, this is where it ends. And three days later, they came back down, had to start it all over again. Mm -hmm. Well, the world is always ending. It seems that way to me. And if it ever does for real, well, there'll be no one there to see. Cause we'll all be on a web and air with our noses stuck to the grid. Arguing about whether the world is ending or maybe it already did. Good, good. Times are good. Times are good. You okay out there? I don't know where you are. I know where some of you are. Let me see if I can find out where some of you are. Uh, oh boy, I dropped everything. I just now dropped everything. Uh, the police still travel and yeah, I know, bullet bomb proof vehicles. Yeah, it's happening all over the world. You know, they're not popular because the job of the police is to maintain the social order. Maintain it. It's not to defend you or protect you necessarily. It's to maintain the social order. So if the social order is profoundly unjust, that's what they do. They maintain that. It's the job description, you know? So the job description has to change. And look at this. Oh, man. Okay, I know what I want to do. I know, oh, I want to do that one. Yeah. Maybe I should do that one now. No, I'm going to do this other one first. Oops, damn. Damn. There we go. Oops, I'm dropping things, dropping things. Things are falling all over. Oh man, they're falling all over the place, man. I'm getting myself, I got a, a paper mill going on here. Okay, gotta figure out how this one actually goes, remember? Printer's going off. That happens. There's a ghost in the machine. Um. You know, we're taught all these uh, sayings to grow up and live by. Some of them are true, and some of them were put there to keep you off the track. 
like put your money where your mouth is. That keeps you off the track. Turn it around a little bit and you get a better idea of how things work. They put their money where your mouth is. They put their money where your mouth is. And that's very effective. So what you gonna do when you can't get through? What you gonna do Cause you put a little funny with a mouth full of money So what you gonna do? They put their money where your mouth is Yeah, that's right They put it right in your mouth You were talking on fire With a stunt tongue so true And people came from miles To listen to you they gave you their ears and their hearts and their hands. Yeah, you had it going on. Until the man put his money where your mouth is. He put his money right where your mouth is. And that's very gave you a contract they said to sign on the line they said step right up and leave it all behind and now your name is on the door you got a high back chair and you're just another one sitting there with their money right where They put their money right where your mouth is, and that's effective. You stutter and cough, but you can't shake it off. You stutter and cough. But you can't stay it, shake it off, it's a mantle of chains Made of fortune and fame When they put their money right in your mouth And now you're talking trash Cause you got a mouth full of cash And they put their money right where your mouth is You got your name on the door You're on the 34th floor Everybody knows who you are. You don't even have to drive your own car. Doors open for you as you walk down the street. People tip their hat and shine your feet because they put their money right where your mouth used to be. They gave you sunglasses made out of money and now you can barely even see they put their money. Having a good Wednesday so far, wherever you are. <laughs> Maybe driving in your car, got a little Bluetooth thing going on. Listen to the guy play guitar from Seattle. Covers up that annoying engine rattle. <laughs> Don't know what that is, we'll just think about that later. Where did Gato go? Where did Gato go? I know 
Went downtown for a bottle of beer, said he'd be back in an hour, but he ain't here. What's up with that man? He's always late. Ain't nothing to do, I guess, but just stand around and wait. Where did God go? He's a practical joker. He's one of the biz. You never really know where you think he is. In your pocket, up on your sleeve, he ain't coming back until you leave. Where you got to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spent the last four years on needles and pins. We got a brand new prez that we're swearing them in. Some people got mad, some people got happy, some armored up and got scrappy. Where did Gatto go? He'll help us out. He always used to, anyway. Somebody has to. Under the uh, under the shadow of the skeleton tree, as far as I, under the shadow of the skeleton tree, as far as the eye can see, I see it's all held together with super glue. Yeah, but God, oh, he'll know what to do. If he ever shows up, and if you don't. Up in the mountain, out in the trail, somebody said they saw him in the Ludlow jail. Sitting in a crouch all by himself, they knew it was him because he looked like somebody else. Yeah, he's a trickster. Look who's crawling with a snake in, look who's crawling like a snake in the grass with a sack full of money and a getaway pass. Nobody's special not taking a bow. Barely remember what it looks like now. Is that him? Or somebody else? Two fools sitting with a bird's eye view. One says to the other, I know you. Says the other to the one, I know you too. Now what are we gonna do? We got to go. How am I supposed to know? Now there's somebody missing from this story. I tell him, you can figure it out. You'll be ringing the bell. God who ain't coming, he never does. It's just you and me, buddy. That's like it always was. Mm -hmm. Where did God go? God who ain't coming. No Godos, gods, no mass. I'm going to do something kind of melodic and sweet here. I'm done with this weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, what have I got on my little list here? Let's see if somebody asked for anything. Let me just check these notes here. Some people, people sometimes ask for things that are exactly the right song at the right time. Oh, boy. Uh, supposed to be another two, one, bit in 2004. Hi, you from Belfast. More, Gary Jones, Jerry Jones, man, Belfast is out there. Hello. Jacking in late, dangle, twinkle fingers, twinkle fingers. Mark Kenny, okay, cool, cool. All right. Oh, I know what I'll do. Belfast is on the line. That's a great town, man. If you ever get up there, say hello for me. Botanical gardens. Black taxis. The 
the Amsterdam bar down along the dockside. Yeah, that's a place to play, I tell you right now. And you gotta go to Dairy Town. There's a lot going on up there, Giants Causeway. Giants be Causeway. I'm from California originally, and this is a song about that. Well, I saw Jimi Hendrix at Winterland. It was 1968. I was in whatever shape I was in that night. The horses were out of the gate. The crowd was fine and fanciful. Yeah, and when Jimmy took the stand, he had too many fingers. There's no way of explaining the interconnection of so many pieces of mind. There were smoke and there were mirrors, and there were nights of the magical kind. Jimmy wore knee-length moccasins, as I recall, and he played with his feet out wide. And in between the sonic silences, <laughs> he slipped the notes inside. Yes, I saw Jimmy Hendrix in Winterland. Yeah, and I was experienced then. I was with some impossible people. I don't know how we even got in. I was out on a date with a butterfly girl who was floating up out of her shoes. We were blowing what was left of our minds that night while Jimmy was blowing a few. And the fog came in like a blanket And the sun rose up over the rim And we were all just skimming stones In the times that we were in And maybe I lost a few brain cells I know it was pretty thin ice But if I had to do it all over again Well, you know what I'm gonna say I wouldn't think twice Play your own solo here, whatever you got on hand. You know the groove by now. And the melody is plain to understand. If you're in Belfast, Chicago, or right down the street, it don't matter if you can just hum a tune. We'll get through this thing if we just keep going. It'll be over none too soon. They made a record out of those Winterland nights. You may listen if you dare. The music and the multitudes. <laughs> I know I'm in there somewhere. It was a season of eruptions. Yes, it was. It was a doorway to infinity. And when Jimmy's guitar said, thank you, that was enough for me. Yes, I saw Jimmy Hendrix. All right, I'm going to do a couple more songs here for you. I might go over time a little bit, but that's they say that's not good. You need to be precise when you're doing live streams because people have, I don't know, jobs to go to or parking tickets to attend to or something like that. Or the coffee's on the boil, the blood's going to sweat and toil, that sort of thing, you know. I don't know. I remember the, this is how I remember the days of the week. Monday is the one day that comes after Sunday. Tuesday is Blues Day. Wednesday is Friends Day. Thursday is her day, but Friday is my day. Saturday is what's the matter day. And Sunday's the one day that comes before Monday. That's how I remember the days of the week. That's how I know where I am. Uh, 
something or other that lines with me speak, and so I'm going to sing it again. I don't remember that. There was a line in there that I did. But that's how it goes. All right. Okay, I'm not going to do that one because that takes too much. Stumbling around. You don't want to hear me stumble around. You want to hear me do something that I know without stumbling around. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, okay. Katie and me went to see this guy, this uh, right-wing Trumpster preacher guy. Sean something or other. Sean Foigt. If you mispronounce his name, you know, you can have fun with it. Um, and anyway, we went to see him there. And, and uh, because he was doing, he'd do these, these outdoor, this was like last summer, he would do these out, outdoor evangelist gatherings where people would, you know, get a lot of people out there. He had a rock band and everything. And he never wore a mask. And he would encourage people to come and gather around and do it all maskless because they had Jesus on their side. You know, and it's just, it's scary. And we didn't go in there. We didn't go in the crowd. We stood off in the distance and watched. But I wanted to sing something off there somewhere. Katie had her little phone thing. We did a little live stream. And uh, so what I did was I, I rewrote this old Joe Hill song called The Preacher and the Slave, which was about the Salvation Army. He called them the Starvation Army. Um, and, you know, Joel was, was uh, Swedish. His name was Hillstrom. And he came to America, and he, you know, like a lot of immigrants, it's weird. This is such a weird country, man. You can be, we're, we're, we always shoot off our mouths about how we're an immigrant country. But every time people came in from somewhere else, they had to change their name so they wouldn't get made fun of and wouldn't lose their jobs. Okay, I mean, it's like we just make things up all the time about ourselves. I guess everybody does that. Anyway, so I, I took that song, Preacher and the Slave, and I rewrote it. I mean, he did that a lot, too, and it's, folk music is fair game, right? And I call it The Preacher and the Patsy. And uh, it goes like this. See if I can do this right here. And then I'll sing you out, and I'll say thank you for being here. And I got my PayPal stuff all over the place, man, so you can't lose it. You know? And I took out, I used to have from the Bobcat Den down along the bottom, and somebody somebody said last week, he said, I can't watch your hands because the, the writing is in the way. And I thought, yeah, well, I'll take that off. So there we go. So, yeah. Live on, hey. You'll get pie in the sky when you die. That's how he's saying it. You will eat by and by in that glorious land in the sky. So we're going to play Live on Hay. <laughs> You'll get pie in the sky when you die. That's how they sang it. So I rewrote it like this. Long-haired preachers come out in the park And they sing and they pray and they bark Take their masks off and throw them away And when asked about the science, they say You will see by and by When they give you better glasses the sky science be damned God's got a plan and you will see by and by when you die that's a lie oh they sing about God's holy grave how expensive it is to be saved <laughs> and when the collection plate comes into view then you'll know they have more money than you But you'll be rich by and by When they give you your percentage in the sky Work and pray until that day When you get pie in the sky And that's a lie, here we go Whatever you'd like to play and sing along 
Yeah, it's Wednesday, all right. Weeks going by. And you'll get pie in the sky when you die. That's what they say. Oh, they're groovy and trendy and fine. And their message is always sublime. For the beauty of spreading the word and is the business of fleecing the herd. Ah, some things I'll just never understand. How you could fall for such an obvious sham. I don't care how holy they seem. Jesus never drove a limousine. <laughs> so thinking people of all countries unite. Side by side, for science we will fight and reason and medicine and all that kind of stuff. When the world and its wealth we have gained. To the con men we will sing this refrain. You will see when by and by when you get those silly myths out of your eye. And when you die, <laughs> goodbye. Cause there isn't any pie up in the sky You will see by and by When you get those silly myths out of your eye And when you die, goodbye Because there isn't any pie up in the sky That's a lie Alright, so now I'm gonna finish now I'm going to finish, and I'm just deciding what songs to finish with. I'm going to finish with this song. This goes out for Ann Feeney. Ann Feeney is quite, I don't know if people know Ann Feeney. She's a great singer, labor song singer and a folk song singer, and just a tireless troubadour for what needs to be troubadoured about all over the country and all over the world. And uh, she's quite sick right now, so people are sending her good wishes and songs and all this kind of stuff and we recorded this song for a couple of days ago and sent it out there and i'm going to do it and i'm going to finish up with this song and this song is called angeline and it's about chief seattle's chief seattle's daughter and this goes also to my friends out there pine ridge uh robert quiver and all those folks out there the beautiful country the badlands you know and uh History is such a wonderful thing. Don't let it scare you. Don't let it scare you. But look at it. Look at it. No one's going to come and take all your stuff unless it's stolen. To be, Unless you stole it. Okay, that's the thing. So let's just get this worked out and sorted out. This is a song about a woman who was here when Seattle was first imagined as a city and began to be built. And she had lived here and her ancestors and all of her relatives had lived here for a long long time and they just got pushed aside but she said no i'm not going to leave i'm going to stay right here and she did she stayed right there and uh, there's always somebody that does that around the world you'll see people that refuse to move sometimes the right thing is to get out of the way for real progress but this wasn't real progress this was land theft you know this was land theft <laughs> So this song's called Angeline, that's what they called her. That was a name she took so that she could <laughs> do what she had to do in life. She let them do that because she knew who she was and she wasn't going to stop. So, okay, so this is for everybody out there. Thank you very much for being here. And I'll see you. I do this on Wednesdays and I do it on the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, depending. So keep an eye out. Make sure you get that. This is my busking gig, online busking, you know. And my hat is the PayPal and the Venmo there. You know, I mean, I'm sorry to have to say it like that, but that's what this is. Okay, it's called Angeline. I'll get the groove and go on here. Hold on. Here we go. In this beautiful country in which I'm living, there is a story that you'll find 
about a woman named Kiki So Blue. And how they called her Angeline, Angeline. Kiki So Blue. She was the eldest daughter of Chief Seattle. She watched the world disappear. She said, you can build your town around me. I'm not going anywhere, Angeline. Kiki so blue. And it was a fine and expensive wife of Doc Maynard who defined her into something to be owned. When she said, you're much too beautiful for such an ugly name. Now on you will be known as Angeline Not Kiki So Blue And they made her illegal All of her people and the children threw rocks behind her back oh, But Kiki So Blue had some rocks of her own And she threw them back Landlord, landlord, go over your shoulder. Careful who you're talking to. Maybe somebody you stole something from. Come to take it back from you, Angela. Kiki so blue. So many thieves for all that they have taken. They leave us with a world full of holes. Oh, but we have rocks, yes we do. We have heroes, and we will not do what we are told. Angeline, Kiki So Blue. So there you go. Thanks. Thanks for being here. I was going to chew my pick, but, you know, I've already eaten. Um, and I'll see you. I'll see you on the weekend with any luck, all right? Don't forget. Stay safe. All right? See you later.